Hey Taurus, welcome to your weekly reading for November 18th to the 25th. I am Charlene Lizette. Whether you are new or whether you are returning, a massive thank you to you. Either way, I hope you click subscribe and become a part of our collective. Let's dive in and see what this week has in store for you, baby. We just are coming off of that full moon in Taurus. If you join me for the live, thank you so much. You know, that moon wasn't an easy moon. We had Uranus um, involved in there. And, you know, sometimes upheaval is required. And so maybe your life is experiencing some sort of upheaval. Star and Hierophant, there you are. You've also got a lot of major arcana in your reading, my darling, okay? That's some more. Holy sugar plums and fairies. Oh my God. Okay. So yeah, we've got four major arcana of seven cards. Ma'am, can I just get this please? That's a, it's a pretty big deal, dude. Okay, I'm not going to lie. This week can feel very life-changing. It can feel potentially even a little bit chaotic or a little bit um, shaky. You know, like you're being propelled somewhere new. Aries energy. And there's some of you that are turning around and going, oh, I'm still wanting to hold on to the past. And Source is like, let go and let go on. Let go and let go on. You know? Yeah. Uh, like, the best thing I can explain to you here with Six of Cups, Six of Pentacles is there's a cycle wrapping up. An offer being provided to you. A cycle wrapping up, which is so beautiful for you, which to me makes me feel like there's like a new pathway, a new opportunity, a new door like newness in your life, right? Source is turning around and saying, I'm bringing in this change. I'm bringing in this pivotal life moments that are really going to be instrumental in the, the long term of your life. You know, maybe you've been trying to manifest something. Maybe you've been wanting to call something in. And Source is going, you got to do A, B, C, D so that this thing can come in, right? And some of you are going, well, like, I don't want to do A, B, C, D. I'm scared or like, I'm so comfortable in this. And Source is going, it's non-negotiable here, baby. If you want this, it's time to do all this in your life, right? The courageous peony, multifaceted, unique nature, let yourself be seen. Hmm. Empathy. I'm open to seeing both sides of the situation. Hmm. And then we have Aries here. The Mars currently retrograde in Leo. Aries is all about the initiator, the go-getter, the leader, the one who starts things. Okay, doesn't always finish them. But definitely roaring to go, roaring to bring in that change. The Six of Cups and the Six of Pentacles is a really interesting energy. Not only is it balance and harmony with the two sixes side by side, but these two cards, you know, are... They, they've got their own quirks. Let's just call it that, okay? The Six of uh, Cups is all about nostalgia. It's memories. It's remembering the past. It's people who have helped you and supported you in the past, okay? It's about going back to childhood, remembering the, the softer things, the sweeter things in life, okay? There's also this essence of fertility here as well with some of the flowers looking like a uterus, okay? So it's like this lush garden has been created because these two people, very opposite in age, okay? One is a child, one's an elder. Um, being able to conjure, master, and co-create and put flowers into these cups, right? So it's like, how do we harmonize, create beauty, create balance in a home? Look how beautiful everything is, right? When we work with like the mature and then the young excitement, right? One's got the wisdom, the other one's got the energy. Then the six of pentacles, we've got this person who is financially very wealthy with the scales and then somebody who are beggars. Did the beggars ask this person for money and that's why the per person is paying them? Or is this um, person paying the beggars out of the goodness of his own heart? Either way, there's some sort of, you know, um, compromise here and duality here with this energy, asking you to really think about these things from a really large perspective, right? Where have you been offering? My foot's also really, really itchy right now, which is really weird. Okay. Um, you know, where are you offering certain things or where are you willing to accept or not accept certain things? To me, this might look like an offer from an elder or a potentially like money coming in from an inheritance or from an elder here or somebody helping you out financially, or maybe somebody asking you for money. Just saying. Okay. The world, the hair font, the star, the chariot. Holy shit. They get into a bar and oh my God. The world is all about a cycle wrapping up here. The hair font is all about conformity, learning, staying to the status quo. The star and the chariot is about healing, having courage, and taking control. What I'm seeing here, apart from this fucking intense, intense energy, is that you're coming out of the woodworks, right? I'm coming out. 
I don't want the world to know. Like you're just coming out and going like, this is who I am. Hello, hi, my name is Taurus. This is what I do. This is my vibe. You're no longer afraid, right? You're no longer living in the shadows that have been cast. Maybe you had a childhood where you were you know, the shadows were cast by your father or by your grandfather, right? By a masculine figure. And you're realizing like, I'm no longer living in their shadow. Darth Vader to Luke Skywalker, you know? Like you are fighting the evil in your life and you're turning around and going, I'm going to follow conformity, spirituality, structure, okay, R discipline, okay, so things are going to stay status quo because I'm focusing on my healing. I'm focusing on taking care of me. I'm focusing on making sure that I shine out into this world. This is you, baby. This is you shining out, letting the world know who you are. Uh, right? This is like you just coming out and being yourself and being so unapologetically yourself, right? Like, I don't know if you've ever seen people in the comments go, Charlene, you're too much. I'm not the dramatics. I had somebody comment that and I was like, what I'm hearing is that you weren't allowed to like be yourself growing up, you know? Well, I was going to say the same thing about you. Clearly your family law. And I'm just like, what the fuck? Like I am myself, you know, my parents, trust me, my mother and my father knew from a very young age who I was because I was the girl jumping out of windows thinking I could fly at three years old. Not much has changed. Okay. Just saying. Okay. Yes, that's a true story. Didn't break any bones either. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Amen. Okay. Um, the chariot to the page of cups here. Uh, is an indication that when you take charge and you plant these seeds of your desires of what you want to manifest and co-create in your life, you initiate and declare to the universe what you are desiring. And so therefore you become an energetic match to it. It's like declaring to the world, like, this is who I am now. This is how I'm showing up in my life right now. These are the things I desire in my life. And so the universe starts aligning you with the right people. I like to, as I move into your love reading, I'll share with you. I like to kin this to when I launched my YouTube. I didn't know how the heck I was going to make money. I didn't know what kind of content I was going to create when I got on YouTube. I just knew I needed to get on YouTube. And so the more that I got on YouTube, the more that I got ideas, the more that I talked to people. And that's how I eventually started sharing this stuff. The stuff that I used to do every day at home to myself with the world. Right? And so source took care of the rest. I just have to show up on YouTube. This is you planting the seeds and trusting that uh, and having the confidence, the courage to go after and source taking care of the rest right? Even Ishelle showing up as your amulet. Ishelle is from Starseed Jewels. You can pick that up in the description box below. This is all about joy. This is all about optimism, luck, abundance, okay? And it's such a beautiful amulet to wear when you are wanting to shift from this energy of like dense energy or challenging energy or difficult energy to a place of peace, ease, and bliss. Look at this. Six of swords, six of cups. Six of cups, six of pentacles. Sixes are a big deal for you. Temperance and the seven of cups in your love life. This, yeah, in your love life. And what do we got here? Yeah, this is about realizing that just because somebody from the past potentially comes back, remember Mercury is stationing retrograde at the end of November, just because somebody is coming back at the, uh, or potentially coming back and, you know, promising to be changed, promising to do this, promising, doesn't mean you have to take them back. You have options, baby. You are the star along with the cherry, along with the Hierophant. This is you. The stars are beside it. Source is going, baby, it's your wish. It's your world. Everybody else is just living in it. It's time for you to decide what you want and trust that the universe is going to guide you and support you in the pursuit of your desires. I'm going to pop this video here to really help you guys out with what you're going through. If you want to book a session, you want to work with me in any capacity, it's in the description box below. Thank you for your likes, your comments, your shares, your subscribes. We'll see you later, alligators. Peace out. Bye.